Early detection of Alzheimer's disease can make a significant difference in living with and managing that disease, but many families struggle with what steps to take after a diagnosis. Here to give us some tips on starting that conversation are Ruth Drew, the Director of Information at the Alzheimer's Association, and Ed Ortiz, a caregiver. Welcome, you two. Well, thank you. Good morning. I'm happy to have you here. Ruth, I actually want to start with you. Um, tell us a little bit about what the benefits are of early detection of Alzheimer's. The benefits of early detection include early access to medication that can help with symptoms and early planning for what comes next. Uh, when a person is diagnosed early, they have a voice in uh, planning the rest of their life and spending their days the way they want to spend them. So what are some of the warning signs of this disease so that we can start planning early? Warning signs of Alzheimer's and other dementias include memory difficulties, confusion, sometimes disorientation to time and place, difficulty doing complex tasks and problem solving. It can look different from one person to the next. So Ed, I know that this is something that's affected you personally and your family. When did you first notice that something was wrong and who was it with within your family? So we, we noticed about seven or eight years ago that my mother was experiencing behavior changes and, and challenges with her, her, her uh, memory. And uh, it, it really uh, sort of hit home with us when she was driving one day and she was at an intersection and she, she didn't know where she was. And so for us, it was important to uh, come together as a family and uh, seek medical assistance. And shortly after that, uh, she was diagnosed with dementia. And, uh, you know, a couple years after that, more specifically dementia with Lewy bodies. So I have to ask you, how did you eventually have that tough conversation with your mom, with your family members? I know that you knew it was necessary, but I think some of our viewers will watch and wonder what are the practical steps that you took to actually address that with your mom. Well, when 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 it was primarily the behavior changes and the, the memory challenges, we didn't really know what to do with it. But when she had the situation where she was driving and, and, and sort of got lost, we, we really knew that it was time to have that conversation. I, I think there was a, a period of time where we tried to avoid the, the topic, but when that happened, we, we really thought it was important, not only for her safety, but uh, the safety of others. And you, you found support with the Alzheimer's Association. Ruth and Ed, both of you can sort of answer this question. How do you support families that find themselves in this situation? The Alzheimer's Association offers a wide array of support from our 24-7 helpline available round the clock to support groups, education programs, and other programs across the nation. We encourage people to access those through our website at ALZ.org, as well as calling our helpline at 800-272-3900. All right. Thank you both so much for being here. And again, you can learn more at ALZ.org. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.